Hello, my name is Professor Floyd J. Winters. This lesson covers flowcharts. A flowchart is a diagram that represents an algorithm or program. It shows each process step using specific shapes and then connects those steps, represented by the shapes, with connecting arrows. For some individuals, it is an easy way to see the steps of a program. In this video, we will build a very simple wage calculator flowchart using Microsoft Word. So we'll open Word, we'll click Insert, we'll go to Shapes, we'll come down to Flowchart, and click what's called a Terminator symbol, and that starts and ends a program. We will draw this particular symbol, and I would like to have that particular symbol to be a, a light background, and have the fill effect to be black, and we can change that. And I'm gonna right click on it, and set that as my default shape, I'm going to right click here and go to add text and type in start payroll. I'm going to add a second symbol in our algorithm, in our program, shapes, and add a parallelogram. Now this allows us to enter data. And right click again and we're going to add text and enter hours. Make this a little shorter. And after we enter the person's hours, we will insert a new shape and we will enter rate. Now again, we're using parallelograms for our data for both of these. When we get done, we're going to want to do a calculation. So our next step as we enter a new shape is to add a rectangle, and that's for a process. In this particular case, our process is a calculation, and we're going to simply say to calculate. So once we enter our calculation, the user may want to do a second one. So what we'll do is we're going to insert another shape, and this is called a decision shape. We'll draw it right here. I'll move it over a bit. We're going to add some text. They may want to do another one, or they may not want to do another one. Now, what we'll do here is we're going to add an arrow to allow them to go back if they want to add another one. We'll draw this arrow here, and we will format that black and right click on it and format this shape bigger right click and set as a default line and we'll take them back here To enter more hours again if they want to do this one more time. But if not, we'll insert a symbol to end our program. And to finish this up, we've got to add a couple connecting lines in here. So we'll insert some more arrows. We start. We enter hours. Enter our rate. Do our calculation. And we ask if we want to do more. Now we're leaving a few steps out. We should be displaying to the screen. We should do some out of range tests to make sure the hours are not too high. We've got to line our arrows up a little bit by clicking on them right here and just hitting our left arrow a little bit. 
But basically, we have the idea of how to do a flow chart in Microsoft Word, representing a very simple Visual Basic program or C++ program or Java program. And that concludes our introduction to flowcharts.